Hey guys, how's it going? I hope that you guys had a great weekend. Uh, I was supposed to film on the weekend and I just, I didn't. Uh, Friday I got drunk on somebody else's failures and then Saturday I went out with some friends which I hadn't seen. One of them I hadn't seen in years, the other one I hadn't seen in months and it was amazing. I love my friends, I've missed them terribly. Uh, so that was a good time and funny, funny things ensued. Um, and then Sunday I was a lazy piece of shit and I also didn't feel like drinking a third day in a row because I'm a wuss. <laughs> um, so yeah, so today's Monday. It's already been a long week even though I am one day in. Can't wait for the holidays to be over. I'm working far too many hours and I just... <sighs> one day I'll be able to sleep. Um, but yeah, so today's beer is this. This little thing. <laughs> um, it's called uh, La Gabière Brasserie Artisanale, so it's an artisanal brew. And the name of the beer itself is Eau de Toast. So, okay. Uh, and and the, the sticker thing, the label. <laughs> the label is a rooster that's singing about toasts. And there's a toast and a beer and like breakfast stuff like an egg and bacon so I guess it's a breakfast beer <laughs> I don't know okay so what does it say uh, legend I'm sorry legend the old de toast is a shirt cat the old de toast is a surefire way to reap the benefit of a good breakfast okay get your fix of fiber from a tall glass of old de toast any time of the day. Okay. Alright. Um, but more seriously, the Elder Toast draws its name from the blend of Belgian and Belgian. 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 But more seriously, the Elder Toast draws its name from the blend of Belgian and English malts that offers that unique taste of toast with. A Wait, is it gonna really taste? I thought they were punning. Like a toast, like to make a toast? I didn't think this was gonna taste like toast. Okay. <laughs> That's a thing. Going with it. Uh, that unique taste of toast with a soft bitterness that gives center stage to the voluptuous flavors of these specialty malt. So, bitter toast. I don't feel like I need that in my life. <laughs> Uh, anything else? So, water, malt, houblon, levure, bière non filtrée. This is a non-filtered beer. I've shake, I've shook it quite a bit, so I'm sorry about that already. So yeah, it's 5% alcohol, 500 millimeter, and it's brown. And I'm afraid of it. Alright. This time I have paper napkins. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. And I don't want to. I really need a better setup, like a table, not just doing this at my computer desk. Oh! Oh! I did shake it. Mistakes were made again! Oh, I'm such a professional! Well, good thing I had many other accidents at my computer desk, so that I'm always prepared with paper towels. All right, next time I'll bring a cloth so that I can stop being so wasteful. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I, I went out, this is like fucking on point with my entire life. I went out to see my friends who were at this restaurant and I'm still not used to wearing my glasses and I see the frame in my vision and it kind of distracts, it distracts me from what's in front of me even more than with my just dumbass blind vision. And I go to touch a thing and I, I, I went around a bottle that I could see, but I couldn't see that there was a glass right next to the damn bottle and the whole wine covered the table. Like, and then we had dinner at a wine smelling table. Drenched. Whatever. Anyway. <sighs> to the pouring. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, why you do this? <laughs> I'm gonna need 
like professional class without a fucking pour a beer. Look at this shit. <laughs> this isn't the normal head. This is because I shook the beer and then I pour like a gimp. And my crickets are singing. Everything's going wrong. Shut up, crickets. I'm trying to do a thing. This is going splendidly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't want to do a full head. Fuck me. Alright, so here's the thing. I'm a clumsy motherfucker. I just am. I already have beer on my pants. There's beer on the floor. The bottle is like dripping because I poured like a motherfucker. And there's like five inch of head. Well, not five inches, but more head than beer. And I don't want to deal with it. Go away. Nobody likes you. Here it is. It looks really dark um, to me. I mean, this this says brown. This looks black. I mean, if you want to compare it, like this is Coca-Cola and this is beer. And my Coca-Cola, well, this is a Pepsi actually. Whatever uh, is more red. But um, I mean, when I think of cola, I think brown. But this this is this is black. Okay, so my failures finally like bubbled out. I poured like a noob and I had a head everywhere and whatever. So now I'm moving on. <laughs> the head seems to remain, like it's not going away. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so this is the last time. I don't think I'll shoot another video before Christmas. And, uh, I'll try to upload this one earlier in the week, uh, so I won't have anything. I'm not gonna do another one this weekend, next weekend, because it's Christmas weekend, and I don't think it's a good time to upload, and so, yeah. So my next video is probably gonna be after New Year, so 2018, uh, I believe. Unless I do one, like between the two, but I really doubt it. I don't feel like I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, so there is. Anyway, so cheers, and now I'm gonna sniff it and regret my life. Maybe I'll smell like breakfast, which would be great, because I'm hungry. Go away, cat. can smell the bitter. That's weird. Um, I don't smell toast. I do smell yeast because I have made bread before. So I do smell the yeast, but I don't smell toast. Mm. I don't want to taste it. Two years and I haven't found my beer. Just gonna point that out. Cheers. Mm. What kind of fucking toast have you been eating? This tastes foul. <coughs> oh, it's bitter. You know what? I think toast. I think like two things. Either burnt toast because that's how my dad used to eat them. And morning, every morning it smelled of burnt toast, which is a great smell. I, I love the smell of burnt toast. And yeah, I either will associate it with his, which was like a burnt toast and butter, or mine, which was more of a lighter toast with Nutella. And this reminds me of none of those things. So that's a thing that I said. Oh, it's worse. Oh, the better is worse on the second one. Why, though? 
Why you do this? Ugh. Ah. Why you do that? That's weird. Usually things taste less bad on the second, like more, not less bad, but more nuanced or whatever. It doesn't like pinpoint on the shit I hate. Usually I'll be like, oh, there's like something else in there that I didn't like or detect. There's something else I didn't detect in the first one. But this one is like, you thought you were getting toast, who <laughs> fooled you. I'm just gonna piss in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't make me gag, which hasn't happened for like the two last beer, I think. So maybe my gag is gone. Like maybe now my brain's like, okay, this isn't, you don't need to pr projectile vomit. This isn't poison trying to kill you. But why are you still doing it? I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'm not tasting anything else. <laughs> so there it is. Um, this is bitter as fuck. Not the most bitter, but like... When I drink more of it, the bitter increase. It increases. It's more present than it was before. So, I mean, if you like bitterness... Uh, it's not definitely not fruity or anything like that. Um, where are the ingredients? Uh, water, malt, hop, yeast, unfiltered beer. Okay. There's nothing like secret in it that. Not secret. <laughs> but like I had a beer that was like tropical, definitely tasted the tropicalness. This. They have nothing in it like that, like a tropical or a fruit or whatever. This this is beer, unfiltered beer, and it's bitter. And they said it would be, and it is. But I don't get the toast at all. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So, um, that's that. I'm done. I don't want to drink this. No. My brother, Gary, who likes to claim all my beer as his recommendation said that I would like this and I don't. Um, I have another one from these guys that he wants me that he he's been pushing on me to, to drink and I, I, I bought it at the same time as this one so I'm not sure if that's my next beer or not but definitely I have a second one from Nagabia. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys have a great Christmas. If that's the thing that you do, be safe, drink responsibly, and that's that. Love you guys.